Well, now to this developing story. The wife of Mexican drug lord El Chapo is facing her own legal trouble. She was arrested today at an airport in Washington. And we're learning more about how she is accused of helping her husband make a daring escape from a Mexico prison. WGN Shannon Halligan is here with the latest on that. Shannon. Prosecutors say El Chapo's wife played an, a key role in his elaborate 2015 escape, and it was here in Chicago where agents first helped to build the case against the leader of the notorious Sinaloa cartel. Emma Coronel Aispuro, the wife of El Chapo Guzman, is now facing criminal charges as well. Coronel Aspuro was taken into custody today at the Dulles International Airport on drug trafficking charges. She's also charged with helping her husband escape a Mexican prison in 2015. El Chapo, the head of the Sinaloa cartel, escaped through an entry under the shower in his cell to a mile-long lighted tunnel with a motorcycle on rails. Prosecutors said his wife played a key role. Jack Riley, former head of the Chicago DEA office, said Coronel Aispuro was very involved in her husband's organization over the years. She clearly was involved in uh, his operations. I felt pretty strongly when I was uh, in charge of the thing at DEA that that uh, she was also clearly involved in his escape uh, from the prison in terms of behind the scenes financing and clearly was aware of the efforts ongoing to get him out. Riley said El Chapo's Sinaloa cartel has long been connected to the Chicago area. 60, 70, maybe 80 percent in the way that they operate. They viewed Chicago kind of like many Fortune 500 companies do as a hub located in the Midwest. Uh, the highways, uh, the interstates, the trucking, the railway, all their ideal uh, for cartels to move in and out. El Chapo is currently serving a life sentence in a maximum security prison in Colorado. Riley said his wife's arrest further hinders the dangerous organization. It won't stop the cartel, but it will do damage. And El Chapo's wife is expected to appear in federal court in Washington tomorrow. Ryan Micah. Thank you, Shannon.